With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students, the question is, a compound A is formed by the reaction of ethylene with bromine which on reacting with aqueous KOH gives a compound B. The compound B can also be prepared by the reaction of ethylene with the following. Okay, so here four options are given to us. That is first is Bayes reagent, second is oxygen in the presence of silver catalyst and then acidic hydrolysis and third is perfumic acid and the product undergoes acidic hydrolysis and D is all of the above. Okay, so first of all in the question it has said that there is a compound A. Okay, that is formed on the reaction of ethylene. What is ethylene? Ethylene is nothing but this. CH2 double bond CH2. This is our ethylene. So it is reacted with bromine Br2. Okay. And then what we are getting? We are getting product A. Alright. And then, then this product A reacts with aqueous KOH. It reacts with aqueous KOH and will give us product B. Okay. So then we need to tell is this product B going to the, be the same product in which of these following reactions. Okay, by treating, I mean to say, by treating uh, these reagents with this ethylene, which one will give us the same B product. Alright, so now let's see the first what is A and B going, uh, what A and B products are going to be formed. So here if you see this is your ethylene. So what happens here in this, what happens here, BR, BR are present like this, right. So what happens here, one of the double, this double bond attacks on one of the Br atoms of Br2 molecule and what we will get, we, we, we will get this kind of a structure, CH2, CH2 and this Br, this will be formed, okay, this Br will be formed, it will have a positive charge. Alright, then in the next step what will happen this another Br minus ion because it is attacking on this so this will go like this right. So Br minus will be removed, will be released. So this Br minus will come from here and attack on one of the carbon atoms from the back. Okay, it is going to attack from the back. Okay, it is not going to attack from this Br, this ring side. It is going to attack from the back side. Alright, so here what we will get, we will get this. As it will attack here. This bond will be broken like this towards this Br and what you will get, you will get this CH2, CH2, this Br is here and this Br is here. So this is your product A, alright, this is your product A. Now when this product A is treated with aqueous KOH, with aqueous KOH, see what happens here in aqueous KOH, this KOH breaks and will give you K positive ions and OH minus ions, alright, and then they give, will show you SN2 mechanism, what will happen, this OH minus will go from behind, attack on the carbon, alright, go from the back side, attack on the carbon and Br minus will be removed, similarly another OH minus from KOH will come and attack from this on this carbon and will remove Br minus like this. It will show us the nucleophilic substitution reaction that is biomolecular nucleophilic substitution reaction SN2 and will give us what? It will give us this product that is diol CH2 that means on adjacent carbon atoms OH groups atoms will be present so it will be like this. Okay, so this will this is known as ethylene glycol. This is known as ethylene. The name of this compound is Ethylene glycol. If you uh, do the iupic naming, the iupic naming will become ethane 1 to diol. Alright, so that is your iupic name. Okay, so this compound is ethylene glycol, that is your B. Okay, so now we need to tell whether we will get this product B by reacting ethylene with these following reagents. So, first is bare reagents. So, let's see what happens in the bare reagents. Now, what is bare reagent? Bare reagent is nothing but acidified KMnO4, right? And we know that KMnO4 acts as a oxidizing agent. So, let's see here. We have CH2 double bond CH2. That is our ethylene. We treat it with acidified KMnO4 solution. We are treating it with acidified 
KMnO4, which is an oxidizing agent. It will oxidize ethylene into a diol. It will oxidize our ethylene into a diol. That is this CH2, CH2, OH, and OH. Okay, so it is going to give us this ethylene. Uh, this from ethene, we from ethylene we will get our diol and this and this is same right it's just as os is above but it is just same if you put os down here the, this is also ethylene glycol this is also ethylene glycol right the structure is same so this is ethylene glycol which is our product b so by using bare reagent yes we are getting we are getting our product b so uh, it is a correct answer but let's also see other options because the last option is all of the above so the second is oxygen in the presence of silver catalyst and then acidic hydrolysis so what will happen here now if you see oxygen in the presence of silver catalyst and then acidic hydrolysis so let's see it here now we have ch2 double bond CH2 okay we are treating it with oxygen in presence of silver catalyst that is AG all right so what happens here whenever we treat any alkene with the silver in, uh, with oxygen in the presence of silver as a catalyst what happens is epoxide formation takes place so what we will get epoxide so we are going to get epoxide here that is C C O okay and here of course your H2 will come and H2 okay so this is your epoxide right this is your epoxide now in the uh, next step it is said that after this we need to do the hydrolysis so when you will do the hydrolysis so what happens in hydrolysis it is like this H plus H2O right acidic hydrolysis you can also write H3O positive it will it is just nothing but same all right so what will happen oxygen has lone pairs so it will attack on h plus and will give you this structure it will give you this structure then you have your hydrogen 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 and your hydrogen will come here and a positive charge on the oxygen now in the next step what will happen oh minus will come an attack on any one of any one of these carbons and this double bond will be broken why it can attack on any one of them because both are ch2 okay both are same symmetrical they are so which minus will attack on let's say it, it attacks on this carbon so it will be broken like this and what you will get you will get this ch2 oh ch2 oh so which is again your ethylene glycol, right? CH2OH, CH2OH, it is same, ethylene glycol. So this is your product B. So your option B is also giving the same product B. So then this is also the right answer. So the if two are giving us, then of course D will be the right answer. But also see this uh, reaction that is performic acid with the uh, and the product undergoes acidic hydrolysis. So let's see this. Okay, so now in the next step, we are going to treat our ethylene molecule that is CH2 double bond CH2 right with performic acid and what is the performic acid it is nothing but HCO3H that is this C double bond O O and OH so this is our performic acid HCO3H right so now when you treat it with performic acid again what happens is uh, at the double bond position whenever we treat any alke uh, alkene with the per performic acids or any per acid, per acids are nothing but which have this CO3H moiety, These are, those are per acids. So this is our performic acid. So epoxide formation takes place and what you will get, again, we will get epoxide CH2, CH2, oxygen, oxygen. Okay, so this, your uh, epoxide will be formed. You can make this the oxygen above as well okay it that the structure will remain same so here this will be formed now in the next step of course we need to do the hydrolysis again h plus slash h2o you can also write h3o positive now here the lone pairs will come and take h plus and what you will get you will get this oxygen this oxygen will have this h plus and here it will get a positive charge and here 
two hydrogens are present here. Now in the next step, what will happen? Now in the next step, OH minus will come and attack on any one of the carbon atoms. Let's say it attacks on this. So it will be, this bond will be broken like this. And what you will get? We will get our CH2, OH, CH2, OH, which is again your ethylene glycol, that is your product B. So thus, all of the reactions are giving the product B. Okay. So thus, your third reaction, that is performic acid 1, it is also giving us the product B, that is ethylene, that is ethylene glycol. So thus, your option B, that is all of the above, is the Correct answer. I hope you understood. Thank you so much. For class 6 to 12, ITJ and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.